in the summer months, we use trail cameras on the public lands here in Wisconsin to locate bucks. We use these trail cameras solely to take inventory. Let's take a look at what we bring along. So tip number one I have for you guys, <clears throat> first things first, always want to have fresh batteries in your cameras and <clears throat> you want the date and time set right. And you want to do that before you get out here, otherwise you're going to be sitting here dealing with it when there's a bunch of mosquitoes biting you in the back of the neck. You definitely don't want that. You slip in an SD card. Always, 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 can't stress it enough, format your SD card. <laughs> you just go into the settings, go to format card, click yes, and it'll, it takes like five seconds, format your SD card, boom. Now it's cleared for your camera, it's formatted for that camera. And every single time you put a new card in your camera, you wanna be formatting, especially if you're switching in between cameras, Moultrie, Browning, Colfer, whatever you're using. Because it, it does something weird where you only get like 10 pictures in the card or you won't get any pictures at all. And that's a lot of times mistaken that the camera's junk, but really you just have to format your car. Somewhere I wanna put my first camera here. There's a little lane right here, you can see. And um, they walk the edge of this little old patch right here and they also cross right here so they're walking this edge and they cross right through here there's a trail all right straight through there so what I'm gonna do is if this was private land if this was my own land I'd just clear a little area and put the trail camera right down here or put it on a uh, stick and pick stand in the ground and put it right here facing this way but what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go about a stick or two high and just hang it a little higher than normal point it down this way and um, it should be fine shouldn't have any problems unless someone sit, stands here and looks around but I don't think that'll be a problem. Pretty sure this is where I got a double driver last year in the summer, so. <sighs> See if you're still around. All right, I got the first trail, trail camera hung here. It's right up there. I got a stick and pick with a strap around the tree. I got a stick and pick here. Right down there where my pack is where I'm gonna get pictures right down here they're gonna come from out there and there's a trail that runs right through here when I hung that camera there's a there's a black strap that goes around the tree on those sticking picks and they kind of stand out like a sore thumb so what I do a lot of times is I break some leaves off some leaves and I stick them in the stick and pick hardware itself and on the straps. So you can see that I uh, just put a bunch of leaves around the black strap so when someone walks through and they look, they're not gonna see it. I usually lose about one a year, like all year round, so it's just pretty good. 
especially on Wisconsin probably. I'm not hunting where these cameras are. I'm taking inventory, right? So try to put these cameras where you're gonna get pictures of the deer, which means what? Which means near food sources and nighttime. A lot, a lot of nighttime pictures. Not necessarily in the woods where all the people go to hang their cameras, but in these grassy areas um, near the food. I've had a lot of success getting lots of good pictures right next to the food source on sticking picks in the ground. It gets a little sketchy with the wind and the grass. You're gonna get a lot of wind pictures if you don't find a good spot without a lot of grass. But I'll take a thousand wind pictures and five big bucks, I don't care. So, we clarify, tip number two is putting cameras where they're not necessary, you're not hunting, not where you think they're gonna be in the woods, but try to think where the deer are gonna be at nighttime. And 90% of the time, it's next to food sources in uh, bedding cover near food sources. This is checking trail cameras, hunting, whatever. If you can avoid it, try not to walk in dirt. You can see there's a tire track right here, a tire track right here, and I'm walking right in the green stuff. So try not to leave your mark that's just going to tip off other people and i like to read that sign too because when i see other people's tracks and i know when people are going in and, and, uh, in the area i don't see any human tracks right now but i also try to look for tire tracks on the side of the road in the grass i try not to do that as well tip number four hunt the humans. I want to monitor this trail going back to this hunting ground here. Now, the only way I can do that, obviously, is a trail camera. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a trail camera on the trail going into the public land so I know if there's pressure. Now, the reason why I want to do that is because this chunk, I know, I've scouted. But, um, some new things have happened to this chunk that I'm curious about. So I don't know if this is gonna have a big, big impact on the area or not. So I wanna know if there's people in here. And so I'm gonna hang a trail camera, but I'm not just gonna hang it on the trail. I'm gonna hang it on the trail, but I'm gonna cover a deer crossing too. So I can at least get some intel on deer moving up and down this trail this way across this way and people going back to the public. Tip number five, if you're hanging cameras in where you're hunting, do not grab them, do not check them until you go in to hunt. I'm not gonna come in here every week or every two weeks or every month. I'm coming in here when I hunt and that's when I'm gonna pull the camera. We got one on the other side of the ridge. We got one down in this creek bottom. And I'm gonna get some sweet pictures, I know it. I can't wait to check these things. If you're doing that and you're hanging cameras, don't go in and check them, even if it's raining or whatever. I've dealt with all that crap. Just keep them in here when, until, you're, until you come in to hunt. You'll thank me later. Oh, dude. I'm pumped, man. I love this. This is great. I'm gonna check this bedding out, come up here kind of check by where those private food plots are, come back down and leave, and I'm out. I'm, I'm, I'm not coming back till I hunt, but I got a decent idea on where I want, where I want to sit based off of what I'm seeing right now. Then I can look at the terrain features and the wind, and then I'll pick a spot and come in here blind. 